Hey, how's it going? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome back to some more Kingdom Come Deliverance from the Ashes. In the last episode, we built a couple buildings up in our newly found village. Uh, I think we believe, I believe we built a rat house and we also built a beehive. So the beehive will start to get us a little bit of money and you guys were telling me that I was an idiot for building the rat house first because it actually absorbs money. So because of that, I guess it probably wasn't the smartest idea, but I like the idea of having kind of the, the the mayor's seat after all you know overlooking the entire village also you guys were telling me that i need to build uh, the proper roads and bridges and then get a trader and then that will really start to influx money into the kingdom as well as that i need to build a tavern and that starts to give me a ton of cash so that's probably what we're gonna be trying to do today we are flat broke though if we take a look we have 81 groshans to our name however 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 I totally forgot about this, but I have a shit ton of loot sticking in my chest in Retay, and that's kind of why we're here. So we're going to pick up a ton of this stuff and just go sell it, because all of this is going to be worth a lot of money. As well as that, we also have a ton of stuff in... Um Townburg, which we need to go and pick up as well. I believe we had a a couple missions which we need to go do for uh, for so Robard to kill bandits and humans, and we might go and pick up another quest as well because I believe our quest for so Robard uh, we couldn't hand in because he was glitched out into the grass, which you guys obviously saw last episode. So let's go to the armorsmith here, see if we can pick ourselves up a little bit more money. Okay, so it looks like the armor it doesn't have any cash left to buy our goods. I'm not sure if the swordsmith will have any money, but if not, we're just going to have to head over to Sasau. We do need to go hand in a blacksmith you. mission, which we have anyway, which will get, get us some money. Uh, so let's see if he has any cash. He does not, so it's probably not worth sticking here whatsoever. So let's make our way over to the uh, to Sasau. We'll obviously uh, go to this place first, right here, so we can hand in this quest. We basically completed it. Um, so we'll just quickly go send over some of our weapons that we have over to our horse to, to obviously make ourselves not over encumbered so we can actually travel and it might not be a bad idea to actually end up going to a hunter because we have a lot of bows we could sell to him i'm not sure how much cash he ends up having but we definitely could uh, go over there so let's make our way up here and we have plenty of time as well to uh, in the day to actually make our way over here so we'll, we'll do that but yeah it was actually really really nice to uh, pick up all of this extra gear, which I totally forgot I had. It's going to save us a bit of time from doing a few of these missions. I also should now be able to hand in the quest to Sir Robot at Townburg because I uninstalled the HD textures, which you guys were telling me were the major yeah. issue of, uh, of that glitch where the entire city was kind of like half textured out, half textured in. And he said I will be rewarded here. I'm only expecting a couple hundred Goshens, but every little helps, right? So we'll talk to this guy and see what he has to say. Master Blacksmith, I think I know how the tempering gets done in Sasau. And what have you found out? Don't keep me on tenterhooks. Out with it. He heats it up to red, three steps away from yellow, and then stops heating, says the Lord's Prayer, and quenches. I'll be damned. That's pretty much what I do too. Except I just count. I'm just saying what I found out. That's as may be. But there must be something else he does differently if he does the quenching just like I do. He did say all his breakages happen before anything leaves the smithy. He must really pound away at his work. Well, I give mine a proper whack and no mistake. But I'll try hitting it harder and we'll see. Are you satisfied? You did what I asked of you, so I'm at your service. And here's something to keep you going. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Do I have any repairs to do on the way? Uh, no, I do not. That was kind of unfortunate. I was kind of hoping we'd get a little bit more money from that. But, you know, what, what are you going to do? Um, so I think we're going to head, continue to head over to Sasau now to sell the rest of this gear. It's nice that we have now completed that mission. So, yeah, let's head over to Sasau. Um, I also do want to go see Teresa. Uh, that would be kind of nice to meet her and see what she's uh, on now. If she wants to come and live with me in my, in my newly built rat house, that would be pretty goddamn cool. I'm hoping that these guys are going to have... Um, are going to have enough money. Attack on the road. But we're going to always fight these because we need the cash. And we're probably just going to pick up anything nonetheless. Oh, these are actually armored humans as well. Okay, cool. Before we fight, I need to put on my armor because 
fighting humans is going to be a lot more difficult than just normal engagements. So we're going to stick on all our armor um, and prepare ourselves for battle. Because, yeah, these fights are going to be a little bit harder. I don't exactly want to die, but obviously they net us the best gear as well. So um, there we go. Fully armored besides our helmet. Where is our helmet? Right there. Pull out our sword. Oh, no, attack. Okay, this is going to be a hard fight then. Nice, good hit on him. Hopefully, we can if we can take out the shield dude early, that'd be amazing. Couldn't quite take him down. We need to get our energy back ASAP. We've already taken a little bit of damage, unfortunately. The nice thing is, though, we've wounded this guy's armor. Nice, there's one archer dude down, which is perfect. It's just a shame because you can't really get the full enjoyment of this combat system because when you want to try and chain attacks, they just tend not to not to work because they can just perfect dodge you. Like, I can only get like two strikes off before he does something to counter me. So it's not like I can really even fully get used to the whole combat. Which is a shame because the combat can be fun when, once it's chained together and once you're only fighting one dude. So it'd be nice if there was more of a flowing combat system in the game and I imagine we will end up seeing it if they do make a second version of this game. This guy's very low as well. Obviously trying to strike away from his shield as much as I can. So this is the annoying thing about fighting shield dudes is they just they're just so defensive that it's very hard to break them down. We'll try fitting some feints. But, I mean, one or two more hits and this guy's down. So we'll let him strike at us and then we'll, we'll bring him down. I'm lucky that the other guy isn't really getting involved. But these guys have some of the best armor in the game for sure, so... There we go. He's down as well. Thank God for that. I had to try and do something a little bit cheeky. We'll obviously mercy kill him. Uh, we'll go kill the other dude and then we'll, we'll loot up. All this stuff is going to be worth a decent amount of money uh, for sure. So we've got our energy back. Let's go finish off his friend, which... Is he not, not in here? Well, I'll take that. An easy knockout. We'll strip him. We'll let this guy live to, to tell the tale of the great Jackie Fish. Yeah, let's go loot now because all of these guys will have some pretty good stuff on them which will sell quite handsomely. I mean, obviously a lot of it is also uh, like broken and destroyed, but especially the helmets are all good. And we'll basically just take anything worth over like 70 gold for sure. I mean, we, we technically could take everything, but I don't know. I'm just... I'm just not that keen. I'm sure it will be okay. Also, taking their swords as well probably isn't a bad idea to look around for them on the ground. This guy doesn't really have much a great stuff, but he does have a, a, probably a good saber right there, which will sell at the swordsmith. Does this guy have a good weapon as well? Oh, yeah, he's a sword and shield, right, which we probably already picked up, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, can't find his sword, so we'll just go over and grab the other guy. And, you know, this will help us, because this might give us enough money just to straight up do the tavern and the road we need, which apparently are kind of some of the most important ones. Uh, so, yeah, you have a nice... We can't pick these up, can we, if I'm not mistaken? I remember uh, I remember you can't actually, like, equip halberds normally, which is kind of a little bit weird, but you can't just have that like, and whip it out when you, when you need to, but... Oh, well. Because I'm sure if I, I do try and pick this up... Oh, it's an axe, so maybe I can. Yeah, it's an axe, so I should be able to. Okay, perfect. Well, let's continue over to Sasau. We are obviously over-encumbered and stuff, which means we're not going to be able to... Uh, yeah, it means we're not going to be able to fast travel whilst we're over-encumbered. Is there someone else here? Oh, it's an archer. Where, though? 
Where is he? Taking arrow fire, because an archer, I mean, archer probably isn't worth it. We probably should just leave, because... They came from, like, over here, right? Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. Oh, my God. He's knocked me off my horse. I'm over-encumbered as well, which doesn't help our combat, but he should be easy to kill. He has no shield to protect himself. We'll just try and max range strike him, because it's always such an effective way, especially because he's got such a short-range weapon. Whenever he tries to counter... Oh, we have to stagger him like that. Don't know how that overhead swing did not kill him. Oh, we could have just finished him off there. So annoying. There we go. Easy business right there. Do you only think worth a value? I'll take that. Take your Groshans. Oh, some light armor, which is worth a lot, but gloves are worth a decent amount. Rest of his gear is pretty shot to pieces. Um, and I doubt the uh, blacksmith will have that much gear anyway for us. So yeah, let's go to Sasau because I really want to get this uh, tavern building and I really want to get this trader building as well. Because the nice thing about the trader is that it will allow us to build grain storage and, you know, be allow us to start uh, importing goods into the city, which is obviously really important. You need that, I believe, to build like pretty much most of the other buildings. You need like the grain and you need the other stuff to sustain life. So the sooner we get that, the better. Also, after we've probably built them buildings, we'll probably head to, uh, to, we'll sell our weapons first. We'll probably head to Scalettes and look for that uh, trade, uh, which the, the Lumberjack was talking about. Because if we can get him, he's a pretty good uh, Lumberjack. So if we can get him there, that might help speed up our quality of the village itself and allow the uh, place to start producing more wood, and which we can then maybe trade. So, I mean, I have been in an attack, but um, nice. And also, we could talk to get him a swordsmith to our town as well. But we'll do that later on when we actually have a blacksmith built. So, first things first. Oh, I need to get the rest of the stuff off my horse, don't I? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, let's get the uh, rest of the weaponry. This mace should hopefully sell for a, a decent amount. Uh, oh, swords. We've got a lot of swords as well. Is that all the weapons? Yeah, besides the bows and stuff we have. I'm hoping, I didn't actually check his money, but hopefully, yeah, he has 1.5k, which we'll obviously get all of that from him. So, yeah, we'll just we'll just sell all of this stuff to him. I guess I'll keep the shield. Uh, maybe I won't, actually. Maybe I will throw over the shield. We, we barely ever use a shield. It might be a good idea to use, but we can probably get the most amount uh, uh, from him if we haggle here. Up to 1,500. Let's talk about hmm. But, I mean, the armor is going to be where we really make our money. Are we agree? That's too too much for you. What do you go down to? Uh, if we go to like there, a nice sum, and then we'll just accept like 420. Aye. perfect. So we made 1400 groschens right there. Perfect. Now what we need to do is go to the armor smith. Uh, there's actually another swordsmith as well, but unfortunately we don't have any more uh, swords. He's like down there. But we'll go to the armor smith. He tends to he's like kind of the, the renowned armor smith of Sasal. So hopefully he'll have some good money. Which we can sell, because we have a lot of armor raring to go. God be with you, Henry. Thank you. Everyone knows my name around here. I mean, I am the mayor of Prolever the, 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 the famed city, which I will make great. As we slowly make our way over, because hey, we are so over-encumbered. Don't want to steal. Whoa, are that could have been bad. Master Otto, how you doing, you doing man? What the hell are you doing? Yeah, getting Otto over here would be great, because he's a great armor smith. So you have 2k, but I was kind of hoping you'd have a little bit more money than that, honestly. But, you know, what can you do? We should be able to sell all of this gear pretty nicely. Um, again, we'll sell that. We also do need to pay for repairs as well, so I might see if we can get our repairs done as well. Um, so we do want to sell this, because I, I already have uh, one other one, which I'm going to be using the one I've currently got on. 
And that's probably going to be it. And we still have a ton of gear we can still sell. But we're going to have to wait a little while before we can cash in on this. So I guess what we'll do is we'll haggle and we'll just go max price and hope for the best. Let's have a word about the... Well... Uh, so yeah, let's go all the way down to what he can. That should be See enough. Now? So we made about three grand. That's not really What's enough um, to, to do much. Like, I don't know where else to sell this stuff to because we still have a ton of armor and stuff to uh, to do, you know? we have This is a lot of uh, gear which we can still make money on. See, so I guess we're just going to have to wait and try and sell this to someone else uh, at a later point. Because, yeah, look at all that gear we still have. There's a lot of stuff. Which we just didn't even get a chance to sell. Like, we sell the spurs and stuff. So, I don't know if you guys have any good ideas of, of people we could sell this gear to. Do let me know in the comments because I would be pretty interested. But, uh, for now, I think we're going to head up to Townburg. Um, also, these leg pieces are absolutely gross. Don't know why these aren't showing up, but that's fine. We'll put on our noble shoes. We'll put on our gloves. We'll take off this as well. Because uh, this looks kind of cool. You know, like, we are still roaming the world. And I believe, yeah, that should be enough to keep ourselves. So we have 3.7k. That's almost four grand. I'm sure that will be enough. Or Also, we probably need to eat as well. Oh, yeah, we also leveled up as well in our combat. Defense went up. So what do we have? Firm grip. Blocking your strikes will cost your opponent 15 more stamina. That's pretty good. Uh, in shiny weathers, yeah, we don't really mind about that. You're able to put your armor so cleverly that it, its real weight is one third lighter. That could be pretty nice, but I think firm grip is nice. We've been countering a lot, so picking that up is, is good. And then I guess we will head up to uh, Townburg, see if we can hand in the quest. Yeah, we'll head up to Townburg. We'll see if the city is messed up like uh, like it was in the last episode. We also do need to eat, so I'm sure there'll be a pot there which we can uh, we can partake in. It's not like that cloud keeps coming back. Someone in the comments was like, Jackie, please get rid of all the clouds on the map. Maybe I'll do that off camera at some point if you guys really, really want me to. Cool. So hopefully Sir Robot isn't glitched out. Is the... Is this city still glitched out? Yeah, it's still glitched out. This is so annoying because Robot has all the Kill the Bandits quests, which I want to do. If anyone does know of a fix to this... Do I need to like reinstall the game to get rid of the HD textures I picked up? Because he's just stuck in the goddamn ground and it's really frustrating. Because all I want to do is hand him this quest I have for him and get another one, but he just refuses to do so. Is there any way to like reset him or something? Because please do let me know um, if there is, because yeah, it's kind of frustrating. And again, this is like the last, the first glitch I've really ever encountered. Oh my god, it's going to be a mission and a half to find that, but we'll go on it. I don't even know what a dove coat is. Oh, well. I want to see if Sir Divish is here, um, see if he has any quests, because I imagine, you know, obviously he is my lord at the moment. I'm sure he would, because I went and spoke to Sir Radzig and um, Lord Tanish, but none of them had quests for me. So I'm wondering if uh, Lord Divish does. Wait, oh, so annoying. So annoying. I just don't know why it is. I've literally never run into any problems with this hey, game. There's Lady Stephanie who won't talk to me. After I, I boned her and then ran away. Lord Divis should be in his, in his castle, right? Because we've also looked around for him and we tend to not be able to find him as easily. Yeah, I honestly don't know whereabouts he is. I'm sure he's just roaming around somewhere, but I could not find him for the life of me. Where are you, my lord? Is there a pot here I can eat from? Perfect. I guess we'll just go up to our, our city and uh, see if we can build any roads. Because I think... I think, 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 we can now build our, our roads. Apparently we can't fast travel from here? What the hell? Right now. Why can't I fast travel from this location? Doesn't make any sense. Probably because the wall's glitched down and it's stopping me or something. Do we have to, can we do it now? So, yeah, getting these roads and bridges up, I hope we have enough. If not, then we're just going to have to have a nap and go to uh, Scalettes, try and find the treasure, which hopefully will be plenty of cash. Oh, beautiful city. Or village. I keep on calling it a city. Obviously, it's a village. Yeah. It's our farmers. 
tending to the beehives. We've even got our own guard here, like the one guard who's like taking control of the entire city. Pretty heavily armoured though, got some of the best armour in the game. Um, so yeah, we need to put some money back in the chest, right? How much money do we have here? We have 300 Goshen, so not a lot, but we'll obviously push all of our money in there. I wish I could sell this gear here as well, because it's just got so much stuff I just want to sell. Let's from Var, really? This isn't this a bad guy? Oh yeah, we have that already, I say, just to go. So how much are the bridges? I'm, I'm guessing the bridges are going to be just a little bit more than what we need. I bet you they're like four and a half grand, if I remember correctly. Church is like 30 grand, my god. But I mean, as soon as we get this this bridge built, then we'll, then we'll probably be making money. Oh, we can actually build this, but that'll be like all our money, right? Will we have enough? We literally only have four grand, right? Yeah, that's not we're gonna need to make a little bit more money, I think. Okay, okay, well, I guess we're gonna have to head over because I don't want us to run out of cash from playing too much. Um, I mean, yeah, I don't want to run out of cash because if we run out of cash, people will be pissed at us. So I guess we'll head over to Scalitz and we'll try and do this treasure mission. It's gonna be nighttime as well, but that's fine. I will obviously make sure I use a torch so you guys can see. I need to make sure whenever it's night time that we use a torch because, yeah, the, the, the visibility is fine on my screen and when I'm playing it's fine, but I know for a fact that you guys on YouTube, like, YouTube does something to the thing where you literally can't see a goddamn thing. So hopefully you should be able to see a bit better now with this light. Again, I don't know how bad it's going to be, but I guess, I guess I can always try and add something as well as we continue to move in. And obviously getting off our horse as well would be pretty important. And goddamn, Scarlet still hasn't been... Uh, repaired yet. Well, that flickering as well is not nice from the torch. Yeah, maybe we'll just wait until daytime, honestly, because nighttime tends not to be too glorious uh, um, on this game. Yeah. Still dead horses. I'm surprised these horses haven't rotted away yet. Yeah, let's go ahead and just get off our horse. I'll wait till daytime. Yeah. I don't know, actually, maybe this is fine. When I'm off the horse, it seems like it's a bit better. It seems very light on my screen. I just hope it is light enough on yours. So we have to find what? Would you have any other, like, any other hints from under a dovetail? Like, what even is a dovetail? And it's just this entire area, right? Yeah, just this entire area going all the way up. Okay, so we're just going to we're just gonna have to go in any house as we can looking for it. Which I'm sure we'll be able to find. And he did say it's a lot of money, so that could be, you know, a couple thousand Groshans or something. That's all pretty nice to me. Okay, guys, so I had to go ahead and quickly Google what a dove coat was because I had no idea. And it's just the things that the doves stay in to send messages. And I looked on the map and there are, I believe, two of them. One, two, and there's a third one over here. So we're just going to check all three, um, see if there's anything around that or if we can, uh, you know, maybe knock something down. Um, or maybe there's like a chest in here somewhere. Doesn't look like it though, so I guess it's not this one. Oh wait, what was that? Something just came up. Oh, oh, digging? Okay. Oh yeah, he said he buried it, didn't he? We don't have a spade. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a spade. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be one to the north. Okay, so I had to go ahead and go all the way to Urzitz to pick up a spade uh, from the trader there, which was kind of frustrating. And now we're just gonna go through all of these um, and see where we can dig up to uh, pick up the treasure. Hopefully it'll be something good. I'm expecting at least like 500 Groshans. Um, I do know that we have to check all of them uh, to make sure that we do find the treasure because I imagine we're not going to find it right away. Uh, 50 Groshans and a, I guess that's not bad. Is that going to be all of it? It's here. Oh, I found I it. Okay. Wasn't lying. But I know this goblin. It belongs to Baron. And he's still alive. I saw him in Ratai among the refugees, wearing red as always. Now what? Oh, that's so annoying. We're playing an honourable Henry, so we have to go and give it back to him. I wish we were playing a goddamn dastardly Henry, and we could just steal it all for ourselves. Is there another one over here? There is, right? Yeah, right here. I just want to double check all of these, because... Well, can we no longer... We can still dig here, yeah. I want to check all of these just to see if there are any other gear. Because there's three here for a reason, and you could have gone to any three, so 
using my powers of uh, mighty deduction, I assume that we might find something. No, just crappy clothes here. Oh, we have to give him back his goblet. That's so annoying. If only we were playing. I mean, it does give us a good chance to go, one, get Kanesh, and two, to go and hopefully sell the rest of our gear. I'm hoping the traders would have got their money back, which would be nice. This doesn't really seem like there's a lot of uh, a lot of people to sell all this extra gear to. But that should give us enough money to hopefully then build the roads and bridges, which should start giving us a little bit of cash. Where the hell is it? Is it... Oh, it's destroyed. Oh, it's right here. Yeah, it's destroyed. So can we dig here at all or not? Can we not dig here at all? I guess this is like a, a no-go place because it's on the ground. Yeah, it does not look like we can dig here whatsoever. Okay, then that's fine with me. Um, so I think we got we got it anyway. So I guess let's head back all the way to Rete. Uh, we're probably gonna have to have a nap as well. The thing is, as well, the long like the, the thing is, we're wasting a lot of time by just moving around and fast traveling and doing these quests. And because the time is going, uh, it's meaning that we're having to pay an operating cost because we built the rat house first, which costs a couple hundred groschens. Um, we don't have really much money coming in yet. So because of that. Uh, we honestly, you know, need to try and build up these roads, build up a trader, build up a tavern as quickly as we can. Because if we start getting money pouring into the city, then it doesn't really matter if it takes a little while to pay for itself. We also want to go see Teresa, but I definitely, because I don't want, I don't want us to get to like 50 minutes of this episode, which we're not really too close to, um, and then end up having like not doing any of the DLC. You know, we're just running around basically trying to get money at the moment, which we do want to try our best to avoid. Hey! So we do need to sleep, uh, that's definitely um, the case. Also, there's a lot of activity givers around which we might try and do. So he should be all in red, uh, the dude we're looking for, right? All in red. I'm sure we'll be able to find him in no time. And you never know, he might be able to give us our money back anyway. So we see uh, a refugee all in red. Obviously a male refugee as well. Sorry that I'm assuming his gender, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. And obviously we'll go see Kanesh as well and obviously get him to start working on our... Wait, you're not Kanesh. With you. Who are you? Good luck to you? Where did Kanesh go? Vincent? I guess he's gone to a different spot. How annoying. Now I have to go and find him again? Oh my god. God damn it, Kanesh. Why did you have to run away? Because it's, it's more than a normal time, right? To... Oh, whatever. Will, oh, you're a trader. Why are you doing all the way out here, my friend? You're a trader, but you can't trade me anything. You're on in red. Are you the guy I'm looking for? Probably not. No, you're just a townsman. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go sell our gear. I'm kind of annoyed that Kanesh isn't in this same spot because now we actually have to go and find him to then bring him back to the camp. I mean, maybe he automatically already went there. Maybe. Do you guys have a restock of your armaments? Because I would Good love to sell you me. my goods. Uh, no, you have not. Ah, oh, so annoying. It's been a couple of days as well. I was really hoping that we'd get lucky there. Um, so let's have a look at our quests. God damn, that's annoying. But oh well, we'll we'll make do, I guess. Um, so quests, do we have? No, that's not what we need. I want to do this raider one as well, but god damn, what's his face is stuck in the uh, in the ground. So I can't hand in his in the quest. Okay, so I found Kanesh after a little bit of searching. Let's go ahead and tell him we've finished up what we need and we would love to get him uh, let, to, let him in our city, village. Here. Did you find it? It belongs to Baron. But, but I couldn't know that. <sighs> well, fine. Look here, Kanesh. I can't watch you wasting away here anymore. How would you like a job? Working for you? Where? In Pribislavitz. We're rebuilding the whole settlement. You could maybe work there as a woodcutter. Oh, I could cut wood. But what's it worth to you? I need good people. That should be enough. What do you mean, what's it worth? I'm offering you a new life. For once in your life, swallow your pride and seize the opportunity while you still can. It's easy for you to say. Hmm. Well, it's better than right begging now. on the street, isn't it, no, surely? I to admit it. Ever since my old woman left, I've had the devil riding on my back. But you leave me my booze. What else have I got in life? As long as there's ale to wash down the dust, I'll work for you. Well, there's not well, any I, right now, but I guess it. it'll be okay. At least we have a woodcutter now, I guess. I mean, 
He's probably going to cause some problems, but if he does cause problems, I'll just slit his throat with my long sword. <laughs> Jesus, that got a bit dark a bit quickly. So we're still looking for the other guy, Bernesh or whatever he's called. I couldn't, I like, I did a little once over of the city and I couldn't find him um, straight off the bat. He says he's all in red. Maybe he's down here. I mean, I doubt it. We also need to go take a quick nap as well, which we'll do. Probably worth eating over here as well from the pot. Just to get our food up. Uh, and then we'll head back because I did whilst I was uh, whilst I was searching for him, I managed to find uh, the huntsman and also another dude I could sell my gear to. So I went ahead and basically sold about another thousand golds worth of gear, which should hopefully provide us with a, enough money to um, to build the bridges and still have a decent amount of money left over. Then we just need to try our best and come up with a way. Um, yeah, then we just need to try our best and come up with a way of making more money from this point without being able to do the bandits quest. I mean, I'm sure by this point, um, a lot of the traders will have restocked their economy. They would have sold their goods and stuff. And then we can hopefully build a lot more. I mean, it's probably worth checking just before we do leave this place, honestly, that there is, you know, that they don't have their goods back. Because we sold our goods to them about three days ago. So it probably is, you know, worth checking. Because as I said, we need to make money. Um, and as you guys said, I probably didn't do the most optimal build in my city to pick up cash. But, you know, I don't really care about that. I wanted a rat house. I wanted a place to call home. Yeah. Obviously, my house is the most important, of course, of course, of course. There's food there as well, which we'll, we'll eat up really quickly. Can we still have a couple thousand groschens worth of gear? Probably even more than that in our inventory. But what we really need to have happen is we just simply need... The, uh, the, the armor smith to get back his cash. Because the one in Sasau as well, you didn't really have too much. This guy had a lot more. We're going to have to wait like till like 9 o'clock till he opens. But it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And also our energy is all the way up as well. But again, every single day we're wasting here. We're just obviously bleeding money. But I have about a thousand Goshens in my, uh, in my purse at the moment. But as soon as we start making money... Hey. Uh, that's all good. So please say this guy has his cash up and running again. Yes, oh my god, six and a half grand. Perfect, you have just made my day. Uh, let's go to this armor then. We'll pick up all of this cash. Oh, we're going to sell so much gear here. Yeah, we'll be good for a while then. We should be able to build, maybe even build a, a trader as well. Because look how much stuff we have here just laying around. Yeah, we'll be able to sell all of this stuff. But we also have these to sell as well at a... Um, a trader, yeah. Well, oh, we had a spade on. Oh my god, we had a spade on our horse this entire time, and I literally spent about five minutes traveling around to get one. That is so annoying. <laughs> Holy crap! Um, so we need to make sure we don't sell any of our gear that we have. Actually, I'm gonna quickly wear all my gear so I can just go down and uh, and just sell everything we don't need. So wear that. Um, we want to wear these. Obviously, wear that. She is this one better? Yeah, this one's better. Obviously, wear them. These ones are better? No, they're the same, right? If not, yeah, they're the same. And then we've got everything else on. We're just missing our coat. Obviously, that. And then it's just what this. And then we're fine. Yeah, that should be everything. Cool. So we should just be able to go down and literally sell everything we have. Uh, and this should provide us with enough money to, to hopefully build the, the trader and the bridges. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Um, so yeah, let's just go ahead and start adding all of this stuff. Because he is, yeah, he is six grand. So we should have plenty to try and sell him. And we can literally just go down. I know I did just sell my noble shoes, which I'll probably have to pick up back. So that's 3.7. Are we only have 3.7? Oh, I was kind of hoping for a little bit more than that. We can probably bargain him up a bit as well. Um, and the nightly spurs can go. Um, and then I want to keep these. I can't sell any weapons or anything. No, that's fine. I mean, we can bargain him up to probably like 4.5k. Which with the 4k we already Let's have, about the price. should be okay. Wow. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any good ideas for like ways to make a lot of money, do let me know in the comments down below as I'd be love... That sounds... Pr I, I would love to, uh, to know uh, if you guys have any really good ways to make uh money. So nice, we made about four grand, perfect, I'll take it, I'm, I'm happy with that. Is this the guy we're looking at, he does got red on. Pikmin, no, I want to, I don't know who it is, it begins with a D I or a B. Be of... be so I know I can invite a few of these guys as well over. Is it worth bringing over these guys, or are there, are there better people to pick up? 
Uh, do let me know that in the comments. If you've played the DLC and completed it, as I know a lot of you guys have, is it better to uh, pick up some other guys who like me? So like, was picking Kanesh a good idea or was there someone else I can get uh, who would just be 10 times better than him? Let me know. Because I imagine if we do recruit the wrong people, um, we might end up, you know, having problems later on down the line with our, our court system and me having to make decisions. So let me know in the comments if, like, me, if there are better people to get, and I should always try to look for the best people. I imagine the best people are probably more reluctant to leave. Uh, but yeah, let me know, as I, I'd be interested to, to know if that's actually a thing or if it just doesn't really matter. As long as we have someone there, they'll, they'll produce the same amount. Because, uh, you know, yeah, Kanesh is a bit of a dick, but, you know, we are, we are well above him to worry about, you know, him whatsoever. But yeah, we have... Almost, probably almost 10 grand, close to 10 grand. So we'll be able to build this bridge. I'm not sure if we'll be able to build this, um, if we'll be able to build this. What are they? Hello? Anyone here? I mean, I'm just going to keep on going if there's no one here. Because I don't really want to be stuck in a fight. I've got stuff to do. I know obviously taking armor and stuff is good, but... Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to leave if no one's going to attack me. Clearly, it's not worth my time anyway. Because I, I just want to run into, like, five armored dudes and be stuck here for, like, 40 minutes trying to duel them all. Because when you're fighting that many people in this, like, really enclosed space, it's just not worth it. Um, so let's just, I guess, continue to make our way. Oh, we'll ride. We'll ride our way there. We're basically here. I kind of enjoy getting taken out of the uh, the fast travel a little bit before so we can actually ride into our city. I feel like it's kind of cool. We also actually have a bunch of treasure maps still left to... God, I'm such an idiot. Can't believe I just did that. Just literally just rode into a, a goddamn broken down tree. Which would have been a really good ambush, honestly. If there were some people to attack me whilst I was doing that. Um, I think as well we get start getting some quests in a second for... Uh, for the town once we build the trader which is obviously pretty important it's just up here right oh we just take a left here go free there we go yeah it's right yeah. there so the roads also should open up a lot more opportunities for uh for people to start traveling in and also probably make it easier for us to get here as well but we are pouring a lot of money into this. But people were telling me, as soon as you get the trader and the tavern up and going, like you just start making so much money that you it kind of almost you just have to wait a couple of days and it's kind of self-sufficient. So we won't have to be doing as much. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, go over to the roads. That's what we're looking for first. We need the roads to build the, the trader. Oh, we need to put the money in first as well, don't we? We're down to three grand there, which is a little bit scary. But we have we have almost six here, so that's not bad. I guess we can talk to uh, this guy as well, Marius. And someone also brought up a good point. Someone was like, I don't know about this Marius. He's giving me weird vibes. And I kind of agree that he, he's giving me a little bit of like a, huh, what, what's up with you, man? Uh, pay the road. old footbridge won't do. We need a proper bridge and a firm road. Let's go to the site. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go ahead and build our... Sorry it's taken us this long to build, but we kind of needed to um, to, to upgrade our stuff. I mean, we might as well have them on if we're going to have leg plates on. Let's do this. So we're, a little, we're still heavily armored. We're still ready for a fight, but we're not over encumbered with a ton of gear. Is he coming? Yeah, nice. Well, he's running as well. Perfect. So yeah, sorry this is like towards the end of the episode where we're building this. But hopefully, you know, next episode, um, I, I'll probably do some grinding off camera as well. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I do some grinding off camera just so that we can build something? Because I think it's kind of cool if we build something at the beginning of each episode and at the end of each episode. So I might do that so that we you know, always have stuff to do. Or we also have a, another court thing to do as well, which we'll obviously pay attention to. Probably do that next turn or next episode. Next turn. We're playing too much Total War next episode. Because, yeah, I feel like the past two episodes have been a bit mismatchy. I don't know. You guys seem to enjoy that, and I really appreciate that you guys are still liking, commenting. It really does help out the channel. Um, but hopefully now i kind of got in the rhythm of things again. Let's go. Are going to build here? Yes. Shall we get... Of course. Let's go. I'm ready. I'll just quickly check again that we have everything we need. Hmm. 
We've got what we need. Let's get to work. A few days later. Oh, that's a nice bridge. That is a nice bridge. Where are my roads? Oh, there they are. Perfect. People are starting to flood in. And now we can probably encourage some traders into the city. So yeah, I'm really interested to find out what you guys have to say on whether or not getting... Are they like the best people for the job? Can I pick them up or... Or what? So how much is a trader out of interest? I did put all my cash in there. So I'm hoping we can build a What's trader as well. Certainly. Or maybe I should save that for next episode. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if we can build it. Not. Yeah, just, just let's leave. Um, so yeah, nice. We have roads and, and that. So we should be able to build a trader. And does it help? Do we have like other entrances into it now? Or is it still just the same? Yeah, still just the same. But it's looking a little bit more lively now as we continue to grow. Um, so let's quickly go to the trader. Or we'll go back to the, the book. Because I want to see. And also, we like can we get Fritz and Hans to come as well? Because both of them, uh, you know, as long as we kick them into shape, they're hard workers. They're just a bit lazy. And we do need carpenters. Where can I find them? Are they going to be in Sassau still? So we might have to go ahead uh, to Sassau and, and see. I mean, it wouldn't be bad to sell our gear as well. So we got a lot of stuff eating up our cash, which is not great. Uh, bridges and roads are what we're basically just spending money right now. Uh, we're not making any, which is a real shame. Um, our village capacity is getting up there, though. We're almost at 40. So how much is it for a good tavern? Uh, so the church repairs are super expensive, but we'll have to wait. Uh, bakery, butchery, no, stable. So a trader, we can actually buy a trader right now, which we might do at the beginning of next episode. And the tavern is eight grand. So I think next episode, I'll, I'll probably play a little bit off camera, get ourselves, we, I mean, we have enough money for this, but we'll get ourselves a bit of cash um, to do this and then still be able to sustain ourselves because how much money do we have left? Uh, so yeah, we, we'd have that, ah, 600 would give us a couple of days to gather some money, uh, but I might do it anyway. So the next episode, we'll build the trader, which should hopefully give us some quests to go do, and then we will hopefully grind ourselves enough money to then build a tavern, because what do we need for a tavern as well? I think it's right towards the end of this book. If the tavern starts giving us money, especially when we start upgrading it. Um, yeah, so the tavern is... We've already got bridges and stuff. So the tavern does start to give us 500 gold, which would basically start paying for everything. And if we if we can upgrade to, like, breweries, dice games and stuff, and meat, but, like, you know, all of that lovely stuff, then we'll really start making the money. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah, we'll make a ton of cash. Yeah, we can already upgrade to, like, breweries and dice games as well. So, yeah, we'll have to grind eight grand to get this tavern up. Uh, so, cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Again, sorry that we maybe weren't I'd doing the do most, it. you know, things in the world. It kind of took us a little bit longer <laughs> to sell this stuff. But hopefully I've edited it down enough so it's actually, you know, an interesting and fun length. Next episode, we'll build this trader up right away. Uh, hopefully I'll get your comments as well. You'll give me some good advice. And I will see you guys in the next one.